G'day from Down Under. I'm Terry the Technician and welcome to Embedded Fourth Language on ARM-based STM32F0 error handling. For those that weren't aware, when fourth source code is entered in a terminal, it's compiled into machine code on the target. That's right, the chip has a compiler inside the fourth kernel. It's totally different to C, which is written in an editor sent to a C compiler and turned into machine code all on the same PC. The binary image is then uploaded to the target MCU. With C code, when your source has an error, the compiler, which is usually tied into the editor or IDE, highlights the error so it can be fixed, which is all part of the C development cycle. The fourth compiler tells you there is an error via the terminal, and there are a couple of common ways to deal with this. Read the error, which is fine if it's a slow 9600 board terminal. Or use a serial terminal such as E4thCom, which passes all the received data from the target, highlighting the error and pausing the upload. In my first video, titled Embedded Fourth Language on ARM-based STM32 of Zero, the IDE, I show how my code is uploaded to the target from the editor at 46800 board. This means a large file upload is so fast it's impossible to read, so I've developed a third method. My previous video showed the IDE uploading an error-free blinky, and here is the same thing. You can see the green LED blinking after the upload. This video clip is almost the same, but I've added a deliberate error in the code. This error doesn't actually affect the program and the green LED blinks as designed. But note that the deliberate error is reported by the compiler in the terminal and the blue LED is now on. This is because I modified the kernel so that all error messages cause the blue LED to light and this could also easily be connected to a piezo buzzer. So now the compiler has hardware alerts for source code errors. A board reset clears the code from RAM and turns off the blue LED. In normal use, I connect the hardware error alert to the MCU clear to send signal to the PC so that when an error is detected, the source code upload from the PC is halted at the actual error so it can be fixed. The halt is removed by pressing the board reset button. To demonstrate this, I've moved the deliberate error to the middle of my demo code and you can see the upload is halted right after the error. If this this error was at the start of a 10,000 line source upload, I'd never have seen it fly by at 46800 board. And finally, here's the schematic. In practice, a push button disconnects the CTS signal and allows the upload to complete, after which I press the board reset button. It's either this method, kill GNU screen, or delete its paste buffers. But I find the push button method easier. If you're a speed typer, you may prefer the keyboard method. There are endless possibilities with Forth. For instance, a script could reset the board, delete the GNU screen paste buffers, and reload the new source code. This concludes my video, and I hope it's of some benefit to any Forthers who didn't fall asleep halfway through.